Okay guys, what is up? This is Never Used Tire here, bringing you another Pokemon Online Never Used Battle, of course. Because I don't have an Ace card yet, and I'm unable to upload Wi-Fi, and I'm trying really hard to upload, or to get an Ace card. And I've been pretty busy the last couple days and weeks and stuff with school and just a bunch of situations uh... anyways let's just get right into this i lead off with my simus sage and he leads off with his rotom and i thought he was scarfed as these things usually are so i went into my flareon to take the special hit but he goes for sub and then charges which is kinda unique i guess but then he goes for thunderbolt which does so much considering I am max HP, max special defense, and that does over half. That just that blew me away how much damage that did. But I'm hitting him with the lava plume, and it takes two to break his sub, which is pretty bad. So I'm forced to stand, but for some weird reason, he goes for the pain split right there. I understand why he has it, I just don't know why he went for it right there. He outspeeds me, and he could have subbed down a little more until he did that, but I thought that was pretty weird. But then he got the pair hacks on the Thunderbolt, which was crucial to this game. And I do get the burn, which also kind of mattered. And we're getting lefties here and stuff. And so then... I protect just so he would get some more damage off the burn. I thought it would kill him, but it didn't. And so now I know he's going to die to Life Orb. So I am I was either going to go for the Wish of the Heal Bell, but I got paralyzed, which really sucked. And now he goes into a Swana, and I'm like, alright, I'm at 13%, and I'm paralyzed, and I'm a Flareon. I am useless, so I just die and I wasn't trying to over predict right here I just went for the volt wild charge so um I would kill it without any uh, mistakes or something over predicting all that jazz and then I go into my simisage because he was the only pokemon that I wanted to take a will o wisp but he goes straight for the sludge bomb and I could have gone into my mawile to take that and then I go for the leech seed, and he goes into a sauce buck and gets sap sipper, and he just made me my bitch, or he just made me his bitch right there. And then I go for the taunt so he can't substitute or swords dance, because I know he's expecting me to switch. And then I go into my mawile just to even out his attack, and he's my physical wall. And he goes for the horn leech. Which is really weird because I had a grass type in there, and these things usually carry jump kick or something else. Mega horn, something. I don't really know. I haven't used a saws buck. And then I go for the toxic because he can't substitute because he's still taunted. And then I go for the protect just for just a scout, I guess, and stuff to see if he has nature power or jump kick. And apparently he doesn't because he switched out. So I'm thinking he doesn't have it, and then I go for the seismic toss just to break the sub and stuff, and then I s see if he's going to go for the will-o'-wisp so I don't switch out over predicting once again, but he does, and so now I'm going into my simisage, the only thing I really want to take a will-o'-wisp, and now I am just going to taunt because I can't, the only thing I can do to him is leech seed, and... I just want to taunt so that he can't burn anything and he can't set up any more stockpiles or pain split. And so now I go into my Swoobat to threaten him out. But I should have subbed right there, but I guess I wasn't thinking very clearly. Oh, and this thing, I don't know why a bunch of, why not a lot of people use this. Everyone uses Quagsire because it gets unaware. But this thing also gets unaware. And I had to learn the hard way that unaware does not work against speed because I sent in my Swoobat on one of those little fish 
uh, what is the name? Gorbis that had a shell smash up. And I thought I could outspeed it because I had unaware, but I couldn't, and that thing ended up doing a lot of work. And the reason I'm talking about that is because this is kind of stally right here. And I get a crit, and I'm just trying to pull a Jirachi of NU with the para flinching and stuff. But then he toxics me, and that's just like, oh, because I don't have my Flare on anymore, and I can't get rid of that. So that's there for the rest of the game, which just is really bad for me. And so now he brings in his Gardevoir, and I'm just going to go into my Maw Wild because my special wall is gone. And he goes for the Encore. And then the Psychic, which is kind of weird. And I Toxic him. And then, since I already saw he has Encore, on this turn I'm going to Protect, so that he can't Encore me into Toxic. Yeah, yeah, and then he gets the Toxic, and he doesn't have the Leftovers, and then he seems like more of a defensive set, since he has Heal Bell. Well, he just did, showed me that he has Heal Bell. This is a pretty weird set for a Gardevoir. And then I go for the Sucker Punch. And he encores me into that, and he was going to encore me into Seismic Toss, which is just kind of weird. Actually, it's really weird. And I switch out and go into my Tauros, just because I didn't want to stay in and keep Sucker Punching. And I go for the Retaliate, just because it's my strongest move. I probably should switch that for, like, Return or something. And then I go into my Swoobat, just as fodder and stuff. Even though I kind of need this to kill the Weezing. And he takes it out. Because he really wants that guy. Because it's crucial to killing my team. Because I have mostly physical attackers. And I air slash. Just stay in to get as most the most damage that I can. And I get the flinch. Which is great. And I have one more turn to live. And then I air slash. Take him out. And I don't miss. Which I say because... On PO, I actually have missed Air Slash multiple times per battle. And I go into my Tauros now, and I just retaliate because it's my strongest move, and it can hit anything really hard. And I'm just going to stay in because I have no safe switches for a Will-O-Wisp. And luckily I get a crit there, which didn't really matter, but it was nice to have, and it let me kill him easier. Or else, well, no, it would have been pretty easy to kill him with my Basculin from that range. And I'm just staying in so he doesn't get to set up or anything. But he expects me to switch, and I don't know why he's going for Horn Leech when the only two moves he has shown me... Well, I think he's only shown me Sub and Horn Leech. So, ah, uh, that, that really confuses me. I don't know what his set is. If he doesn't have Swords Dance or Nature Power or Jump Kick. He does have Swords Dance, and I'm go for the Seismic Toss to break his sub. And here, I go for the Sucker Punch, because I thought he would have something to hit me super effectively, but now I'm sure he doesn't, because he goes for the Horn Leech, and I'm not going to Sucker Punch again, because that's too obvious, and so I just Seismic Toss. And now, I didn't want him to outplay me by going for the Swords Dance, so I just went for the Seismic Toss, because it would kill him either way, and he can't kill me. And that would be the battle, so, yeah, I'm going to try to start uploading once. I, I, would, I already do once a week, but probably once or twice a week. And the Smogon Wi-Fi Battle Finder is down, but I still do Wi-Fi a lot. So if you want to get a Wi-Fi battle with me, just add me on Skype and talk to me when I'm on and I do other tires besides NU but I mean I'm just not really that good at it NU is my best tire but I attempt to play other tires so thank you goodbye